Once upon a time, there lived a young girl named Red Riding Hood. One day, Red Riding Hood's mother sent her to the house of her grandmother with a small pie and a pot of butter. Along the way, she met a wolf who could not fail to pass up such a delicious young thing, but he could not eat her then for fear of some nearby woodcutters. To where do you go, Red Riding Hood? asked Wolf. I'm headed to my grandmother's house, replied the child, who was innocent and did not know what a danger Wolf was. Let us have a game, said Wolf. You go this way, and I'll go that, and we'll see who makes it to grandmother's house first. Red Riding Hood consented, and they each went their separate ways. Because Wolf was so much faster, he made it to Grandmother's house with plenty of time to spare, and upon reaching her house, he immediately knocked upon the door. Who is knocking at my door? asked Grandmother. It is I, your little red riding hood, replied the wolf in a childlike voice. Pull the bobbin and the latch will go up, said Grandmother, as she invited the wolf in. Wolf pulled the bobbin and the latch went up, and he bounded in and immediately killed the old woman. Then he poured her blood into a bottle and sliced her flesh upon a plate. When Riding Hood arrived to her grandmother's house, she knocked upon the door and Wolf called in a softened voice, Who is knocking at my door? It is I, your little red Riding Hood, answered the girl. Pull the bobbin and the latch will go up, instructed the wolf. When Red Riding Hood came into the cabin, she could barely see for the wolf had let the lantern burn low, and shut the curtains to better disguise himself with the dark. I've left some wine and meat on the table for you, said the wolf. And Little Red Riding Hood ate what the wolf had left for her, not knowing that it was her grandmother, and that wolf had given her the blood and flesh to fatten her up. When Red Riding Hood finished her meal, Wolf asked her to climb into bed with him. Still thinking that wolf was her grandmother, Riding Hood did as she was told. But upon laying beside the great beast, she was astonished to see how much different her grandmother looked. Grandmother, what great arms you have! The better to embrace you, my child, said Wolf. Grandmother, what great ears you have! The better to hear you with, my child, said Wolf. Grandmother, what great eyes you have! The better to see you with, my child, said Wolf. Grandmother, what great teeth you have. The better to eat you, my child, said Wolf, who then promptly ate Red Riding Hood right up.